Hey, fourth graders, welcome to Word Study, Unit 25, Prefixes, Day 2. I see a prefix in all of these words. Exclude has X, incomplete has N, and nonsense has non. Let's look at this chart together. I know that a prefix is a word part that is added to the beginning of a base word. I also know that the prefix X means out or away from. Let's look at this example. Our teacher said she would exclude that question from our quiz scores, meaning she would take it away. Let's look at non. Remember, non means not. That song seems to play non-stop on the radio. And the prefix in means not, in, or into. Here are two examples to show you. We decided to move the party to an indoor location once the rain began. And the word indoor, the prefix in, means into. The directions to the shopping mall were incorrect. And the word incorrect, the prefix means not. Yesterday, you made a chart in your reading notebook. You sorted a group of words based on their prefixes. We are going to do the same activity today, but with some different words. So you're going to need to pause and create this chart if you haven't already, and then sort these words. Exclaim, income, nonsense, exclude, indoor, non-existent, incomplete, exit, non-living, indecent, non-profit, express, non-stick, indent, extend, incorrect, extra, ingrown, and nonfiction. Go ahead and click pause, sort the words, and then come back when you're ready. Great, let's check our work. In the X column, you should have the words exclaim, exclude, exit, express, extend, and extra. Under non, you should have the words nonsense, non-existent, non-living, non-profit, non-stick, and non-fiction. Under the in prefix, you should have income, indoor, incomplete, indecent, indent, incorrect, and ingrown. Go ahead and fix anything that you need to fix, and great job.